Hello everyone, uh, my name is Carly Hamilton uh, from createmess.com and today I am doing a video all about my uh, cloth nappy stash or as some of you may know it as a cloth diaper. Um, so in this video I just want to show you uh, the stash that I have got. Um, I am currently as filming this 34 weeks pregnant and expecting our first baby. Um, so this is just a little stash that I wanted to put together to, um, to, to start off with cloth diapering with the plan of perhaps finding a few favorite, um, brands that I like and expanding from there. Um, I have shot these videos, um, on my other camera and I had a little bit of trouble with that camera. It kept on shutting off. And so I hope that I have enough um, that I haven't missed anything too important that I said and hadn't realized that the camera had turned off. So anyway, um, enough of me blabbing. Let's get to the cloth diaper stash. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Carly Hamilton and I'm here today to do a little share with you of all the... Um, cloth nappies that I have um, bought for in preparation for my new baby who is due in early July. Um, so I've just got like a range here um, of different ones and I'm going to go through them all and give you a little like first impressions sort of thing about them um, and um, and then I guess after the baby's born and we go through um, using these, I'll do another review on how good these actually are. But this is my stash for now. So this is the first lot that I bought. Um, and they are, I guess, what's commonly known as um, China Cheapies. Uh, or CCs. And they are basically, um, they were super cheap. I've ordered them online from eBay. Um, they've come direct from China and um, they are, oh yeah, so I got 10 of them for, um, plus I got 10 um, microfiber inserts uh, and I think I got them for $43 Australian, um, so they'll be even cheaper American because the Australian dollar isn't so well at the moment. Um, so they roughly ended up being about four dollars um, each. Um, one of the reasons why I want to use cloth nappies, um, and it's not the most important, but it is one, um, is that um, to save money from disposables, because um, I don't, yeah, I don't want to have to keep on the ongoing cost of using disposables. Um, I much like the nicer price tag of um, maybe spending a bit more upfront, but um, you're not spending as much overall. And I guess that means that I have sought out some cheaper options. Um, I do know that there are some ethical reasons maybe not to use the China cheapies, um, which is unfortunate and it is something that I do care about as well. But sometimes, unfortunately, money wins a little bit. Um, so I have bought these ones here. And I've also bought them knowing that they probably won't last as well um, as some of the, of the more expensive brands. They're not going to be as nice. Um, but I am hoping that they will do the job. And, you know, while I'm at home, um, me and baby at home, and we're doing our thing, um, then using these guys um, won't be so much of an issue, especially if I can, you know, change nappies more regularly and everything. Um, all the nappies that I've gotten are one size fits most. So hang on, I'm just going to get comfortable. I am currently uh, 34 weeks pregnant and trying to get comfortable on the floor here. So it's not really happening, but... um. Yeah, anyway, uh, so yeah, these are one size fits most, so it means that they have, um, and they're the snaps as well, 
I haven't probably opened this one yet so it's still a bit stiff but it has the snaps there so I can like fold them up to um, different sizes there so if I fold this guy up with the snaps so that makes the nappy smaller overall um, oop, and a, like an example is here's one that I've already sort of snapped up comparing the two sort of sizes um, so yeah these ones as well they've got like a little section where you stuff you get your um, your insert and you stuff it inside um, so these ones came with microfiber inserts um, so yeah for, for the China cheapies like I'm not expecting the elastic to last as long maybe they'll only last a couple of months maybe they'll last um, for the whole like duration of my baby maybe if we have more babies they'll last even longer I don't know um, basically there have been mixed reviews online um, and so I don't have you know I have realistic I think expectations for for these guys um, as I said they're sort of just a cheap way to bulk up my collection um, and you know I have read some and seen some reviews of people saying that these are just they last just as fine as um, your regular I mean your more expensive ones so who knows how the luck of the draw goes but um, I, I, I think I have realistic expectations of these guys um, I got to choose my colors unfortunately some of the colors that I actually wanted had sold out so I ended up just saying send me whatever um, I ended up getting two, two of these green ones um, but that's fine you know whatever um, yeah they're, they're I guess my China cheapies okay so next up what I got is this five pack I got a five pack box um, I got them cheap online these ones are called ones and twos and they're one size fits most um, again I'm pretty sure that these guys are um, like considered China cheapies but they've been designed um, and I could be totally wrong on this so sorry if I am the box is gone but I think they're designed um, in Australia or at least they're designed um, outside of China and then they've gone through just made cheaply in China so these ones was a box of five for fifty dollars um, so ten dollars a nappy it averages out to be and um, I guess they're like double the price of my China cheapies um, the first thing I noticed like between them is that they do feel like a slightly bit softer on the this one's a China cheapy so they feel slightly a bit softer on the outside these ones also have velcro and I have mixed feelings about velcro I think it will be easier um, but I'm, I worry about them getting all nasty quicker they do have like little laundry tabs for your washing so they don't get caught in things um, and then these guys have a oop, they have padding already sewn in um, and then they have a liner as well now I'm pretty sure that the liner is microfiber um, just like the China cheapy one um, I'm not sure what's inside sewn in maybe microfiber as well I'm guessing um, I'm not 100% sure though so it could be anything <laughs> um, but again I bought these because they were cheap I'd heard good reviews about them for a cheaper nappy um, and I thought it'd be a good way to bulk up my um, collection again so the sort of the size comparison they're a little bit smaller as well um, this is sort of the smallest I could get the China cheapies and that's like the smallest you can get the ones and twos so they do go a little bit smaller um, and 
and let's see here's one that hasn't been snapped all the way down yet and here's a China cheapy one so it's pretty comparable in the rise I think these ones are a little bit bigger so these ones might not last as long on baby but yeah pretty pretty comparable so I guess because these guys have got the soaker already built in um, and then adding an additional liner um, these ones might might be better if I open it up again um, show you a bit better I have to show you again because my camera shut off um, but this one doesn't have like a little um, section at the back where you can stuff the liner say with these ones um, they've got like a little hole that you stuff the liner down these ones you just um, have like a little front flap here that you can tuck it into so I guess it makes it a little bit quicker to stuff so that's the ones and twos there so now I'm getting into some more I guess expensive um, nappies or diapers um, and with these ones I just wanted to buy a couple just to try them out um, with the plan of once baby is once I've got a good rhythm going with my nappies um, I will see which brands sort of suit my baby a bit better and which ones I like and probably buy more um, so that yeah I have a, like a more complete stash these ones here uh, they're still pretty reasonably like cheap. These ones are called Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Um, and as far as I'm aware as well, these ones are actually like, you know, China cheapies that have been rebranded. Um, and I have um, read lots of online reviews though that these guys are actually pretty good. A um, little bit better quality than your average China cheapies you know that I've already bought um, one thing I like about these ones as well is up this top here in the snaps they've got one two and then this one because I have seen um, like negative reviews um, trying to find a nappy negative reviews of like these ones slipping you know slipping up woods because they don't have that additional like thigh support um, so that's one thing that I've seen with these ones um, that is kind of like a nice little advantage. Um, again, they're the one size fits most, so they've got the three risers, so you can go down the sides. Um, these ones also have like cute um, little patterns that you can choose from. So I've got got a little like zoo animal one, and this one has like cats and birds and trees on it and I mainly got this for the the cats although my one doesn't have like a good cat on the front which is a shame <laughs> but oh well um, one thing I notice about these ones when I open them up is that the inside is much fluffier and softer than the other guys and the soaker pad is huge. Let me see. Let me compare. Um, so this is just my China cheapy one. And so it's much bigger. I'm pretty sure as well is that these ones have bamboo innards, which are way more absorbent and um, longer lasting, better than the microfiber. So... I think they're the bamboo. With these ones, you you um you have like a little pocket to stuff, so it doesn't have like elastic there, but they've got elastic on the back. So those two are my hippopotamus. I paid fourteen dollars each for these guys. Um, so again, getting up in the expense, um, but still pretty damn reasonably priced. Um, makes them pretty pretty affordable, I guess compared to these ones coming next so um, yeah I'm pretty happy with them and hopefully these guys are, are good these ones are my bum genius ones and I got some velcro um, and some snaps just to see like which style I prefer and I also got one of the limited edition prints 
because um, again I like cats we've got cats here that you can see walking around the back of this video but um, it's got tiger on it and it says I'm a genius and I thought it was kind of cool and I'm actually really in love with like this tealy color at the moment it's my favorite color um, so I had to get this one um, so yeah these are the bum genius again one size fits most so it's got like the snaps to change the size these ones I've already like resized to the like, little size um, on the inside these ones to be honest overall all of them sort of feel the same on the outside but they do these more expensive ones do kind of you know they kind of feel a bit softer on the inside of this guy you get a lot so you get a just a normal soaker and I'm pretty sure all these more expensive ones have like bamboo in it and I mean maybe this is microfiber I don't know I'll look into it I'm pretty sure they're all bamboo then it's got like a little one that has like snaps so when you have your um, when you have your nappy out full size or you can like snap it down to like medium size or then the small rise and you can also like you know have more padding say up the front if you've got a boy the way these ones work is they just um, have like a little pocket hiding under there so you can put them in there so that's my bum genius I did get I got one of these these are the I'm not sure how to pronounce it whether it's Grovia or Grovia um, it's the new one nappy um, that's just come out actually and I decided to get it because uh, the cute whales they're kind of cute um, the good like the thing about this one is that it has velcro and snaps so you can you can like un snap the velcro and decide whether you want to use velcro or snaps um, so the choice is yours I think this nappy is sort of designed to be like really um, easy hassle free for anyone to use so it has like really really thick soaker pads that you can like unclip here um, or if you're lazy um, when you go hanging out on the line you can just hang it out like that um, or you can unsnap them so it's like a super sort of super easy um, nappy the choice is yours how it works um, I think of this one yeah it doesn't have a pocket so you just you do have to just you know have them in there like that um, so I guess that that I mean that's easier than stuffing um, these ones are super thick so it's really yeah super thick um, I think this one was the most expensive I think it was like $32 out of all the nappies I bought so that's that one the one the last nappy type that I bought is the um, closed pop-in um, these ones are both uh, velcro and these ones are really they just feel nice I really like that um, it's got like a double gusseted leg area so with the open bit you can sort of see there the two little bits there the liner inside it um, it's got like a little soaker here that you can clip in and then the liner itself is gusseted as well um, so with these ones it doesn't have a pocket but it's sort of like you sort of tuck them under at the ends here and it's got little bits that you um you snap use the little snaps to pop it in so these ones are I don't know I, I, I'm really like really liking the the gussets and the feel and the look of these and they cost the same amount as the um, bum genius so they're about thirty dollars each um, so they are I'm quite impressed with these ones really happy with them um, 
I'd say that like the Bum Genius is my maybe second favorite. So there's the Bum Genius there. And as you can see, I told you I'm really in love with this sort of color at the moment. Um, so yeah, but I'm impressed with these guys. These ones look really nice. I got like a lion one as well. Um, and the inside of this one is all purple. And I'm pretty sure these are all bamboo as well. Um, they have like little hidden laundry tabs under there that you can poke out. I guess that makes So um, that concludes uh, my nappy stash video. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at all the nappies that I've gotten. Um, that last video did cut off suddenly, so I'm sorry about that, but um, I didn't catch that one. I caught the others. Um, so yeah, I will be doing reviews on all those nappies um, once I've actually used them for a little while. So um, do bear with me. Um, who knows how long that will be, um, you know, before baby's born and then how long. Um, I'll give it a little while so I can review them properly. But if you are interested in seeing those, please do subscribe to this channel um, so that you can be updated when they arrive. Um, so yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching everyone and I will see you all next time. Bye!